Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Houston. We are currently 15, 10, and 1. Last 10 games is 5, 4, and 1. And our third line right winger, Kyle Palmieri, has the most points right now, 19 and 26. So, yeah, that's where we currently stand. I've been taking some comments into consideration, been making some notes as well. I have a separate category for how to draft better. So that's not really applicable right now to this episode. But I also have some things that are applicable to this episode. So, uh, one of the comments, and I think I actually saw a couple of them, was to get a new AHL head coach. So 65 chemistry, B- minus overall, and sort of a defense speciality. So let's see what other AHL coaches we might have here. AHL head coach. So we've got Valette, who is a B-, minus, and a generalist. And we got a 58. Okay, so that's not really going to work out too well. Uh, goalie specialist. So, pretty much, 65 is the best I've seen, and that's our guy. So, maybe we shouldn't get a new AHL head coach? Let's have a look at the associate coach. Uh, oh, yeah, they don't have that kind of stuff. Okay. Associate coach is a C-, and if we go to the AHL associate coaches, okay, so... We don't really have a whole lot to pick from here, I'm going to be honest. But, yeah, I don't really know how to tell. Oh, wait, what? It does give you a team fit. Now I'm really confused. Okay, well. Um, oh, a 70. Pittis. Kip Pittis. What a name. And he is an AHL associate coach. Well. Yeah, I would like to hire you. Um, I'm not even going to interview you. Screw that. You are... The right man for the job. 70% is quite high. So I don't know if I have to fire the current one first or not. But Havlid, I'm sorry, bud. You are gone. Oh, wait. You can see the chemistry on the right side there. But that is that the overall staff chemistry? I'm not really sure. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. So associate coach. Yep, Havlid, you're gone. Let's hire a new coach, shall we? Boom. And we want to go... Nope, not scouts. That's later. AHL associate coach. And we got to find our dude. Where was he? Uh, there he is. Pittis. With a 70% team fit. It's pretty good. And Bouchard loves him. So does Yoki Haru. Terry. Great. What about Boss? Uh, what's his name again? Elliot? I don't see Boss on here. Is there any way to see that? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go all the way down. Yeah, that's a pretty good fit with Boss. So, all right. Pittis, let's try to hire you, sir. How much? We have budget remaining, 451, and he wants... Oh, we can't do that. Okay, well, yeah. Um, let's offer him and hope that he accepts. Maybe. I'll get back to you in a few days. Decent. Okay, what about the other coaches? I don't know why... Oh, I guess it does kind of show. Unless... No, that's still overall. And then the NHL overall is 75, which I think is actually... Quite good, even though our head coach is 61, and then you can't see these guys. But the overall staff chemistry is 75. I would say that is all right. Now, I saw another comment that was basically saying you don't need pro scouts if the fog of war option is turned off. And in our case, it is. So, that is very true. I'm going to fire you. <laughs> see you, bud. Don't need you. I am terribly sorry. There's two scouts. I've done some scouting of my own that I would like to hire. So, oh, but he's an A. You know what? I'm just going to keep him. You're on the payroll. Sure, why not? He can stay. But there's two regions that we don't have on here that I saw, and they were two of the best scouts available here, <laughs> which isn't really saying much because it's still a C. But Nordic and Europe. So um, I'm going to try to hire this lad for, well, I'll just give him exactly what he wants. Sure. Yep. Boom. And the Nordic guy, I'll try to... Six years, holy crap, dude. That's a long contract, no? All right, well, what about this other Nordic lad down here? A, B, A minus for Nordic. And you are A minus, A, B minus. Huh. You know what? I'm going to go with this guy, just because. Why not? I don't really know what I'm doing with this whole menu yet, so I'm just kind of hoping these guys say yes, and I'm kind of hoping that it's at least a decent decision that I just made, but all in all, that's out of the way. Now, we have some other business to attend to. 
Adam Hill. We need to move him. We have too many goalies on the roster currently. And he is blocking DiPietro from being able to grow. So, where is he? Adam Hill. There you go. I did some pre-scouting here as well. The Toronto Maple Leafs do want him. And on top of that, we could pick up a draft pick. I also... However, did not notice that they have Scott here, who is 75 overall, medium starter. Huh. He could be DiPietro's backup, you know, have him under his wing in the AHL, and then we have two goalies for the future? I'm kind of tempted. I don't think this will go through one for one, but... I think this is almost better than a draft pick. Getting... Yeah, he's a minor backup goalie right now. That's exactly where we would slot him. Medium starter, only 22. I'm going to try it. Let's see. Because that way we have two goalies with some pretty solid potential. Adam Hill, I mean, hmm. I'm kind of starting to second guess it. Because he is only 25 and 82. But we want to get DiPietro as much time as possible. And then Scott could maybe even become better than Adam Hill. Okay, we might end up regretting this, but I'm going to try it. And consider it a done deal. There we go. So let's go to the roster moves. I don't think we would have to make a roster. Maybe we should be in the AHL immediately. No, apparently not. NHL, Scott, no waivers, confirm. Go to edit. Actually, before I do that, make more roster moves. There's one other change I wanted to make. So let's go all skaters. I want to send down. Who did I want to send down? Oh, it was Armia. Yeah, Yoel. Sorry, dude. But I'm going to try to... Oh, but no, he has to go through waivers. They all have to go through waivers, don't they? Man, I didn't think of that. Okay, so maybe he's just going to be scratched. <laughs> because I kind of want to bring up Ryan Reeves, who also has waivers. Oh, I want him to be on the fourth line. You know what? I'm just going to do it anyway. Reeves, get up here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's, uh, I guess, edit AHL lines. We need to edit both of them, technically. But uh, I'm just going to do replace player for now. I uh, Go to scratched. We have, well, <laughs> we could play a defenseman up here. Not that it would really work chemistry-wise, but we don't really have too much else to work with. So, yep, substitute in all lines. There you go. Nice. He even gets a zero chemistry on this last line. That is delightful. Ooh. Giovanni Smith, I want you to get more ice time. You are 78 overall, medium top nine, and only 23. So I am definitely moving you up somewhere. That's not going to work. Frederick, I want him to as well. Okay, I'm going to put him on the wing, for, uh, that line for now. Is that enough? I don't know. I kind of want to move him up one more even. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. And if we go to goalies, Adam Hill is now gone. But we got Scott. Substitute. There you go. So now we've got two goalies that are 22, both medium starter. And they have pretty good overalls. Overall. <laughs> yep. There we have it. So that's our AHL. Now the NHL. Our Mia. I'm sorry, but you are going to be healthy scratch for Ryan Reeves. Yeah, let's try to get some toughness there. Robert Thomas is moving up to the first line. I'm sorry, Dubois. Nothing personal. Ooh. Hmm. I could do that. And then if I could try to get some chemistry... He is a left winger, so that's not really going to work, huh? I do like the plus one, plus one. I don't like this minus one. And I, I, you know what? I kind of don't want to break this lineup because they do have the most points for us right now. So I'm actually going to leave them. Here's our defense again. Defense is quite stacked. And in that, we have Mrazic with Vladar. Someone was saying that he's not doing too well, I think. But he has a 921. Okay, never mind. I must have... <laughs> been a troll or something or maybe he's actually not doing good in the save percentage is masking it maybe they were specifically talking about the record but you know what i think he's doing all right so uh going down the list get a new ahl coach um semi check put boss on the ahl power play all right so fun fact for you i went to go edit the power play special teams power play it's already there yep with mcleod and hagel so don't need to worry about that Four-man power play, boom. Awful chemistry, but he's there. Next on the checklist was to fire pro scouts, hire amateur scouts. Uh-huh. We traded Adam Hill, done and done, and we moved Reeves up. So that should be about it. I'm just going to advance days here to see if we end up getting these scouts. That is a lost Minnesota. Uh, 
Wait, what? You sent me and can't wait. Oh, never mind. That's... Why would you say it like that? That was very awkward wording. Oh, no. The leaves take us down as well. Happy to join. Thank you for reaching out. Look forward. Cool. And I, I know another one kind of popped up. Or maybe it was just a glitch, but... Okay. Is that all the staff members that we requested now? Oh, my. We are falling apart. Don't you dare. Okay. Big win over Seattle. We needed that. Dubois is now in the lead with 21 points after being demoted to the second line. Hopefully, that demotion motivates him. But I think we could probably do a big sim, depending on how things go. That's the problem. Okay, let's let's see. If we're at least floating and looking like we're doing all right, then... Uh, no, thank you. Then maybe we'll keep going. But if we were going on a massive loss streak, then we definitely need to make some swaps. A 9-1 to one loss. To New Jersey. What is up with that? Stop sending me trades. Like I said, I will be the one doing the sending of the trades. 2016 and 2. We're still sort of floating. Okay, 21. Good stuff. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and my trade. Yeah, okay. I'm fed up. I'm absolutely fed up. Try to trade me draft picks for draft picks because I'm too lazy to go disable those. So, yeah, if you really want to, we can swap out some draft picks. I did not mean to go to that one again. Let me out of here. Boom. And once. You know what I want? Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. I will be the one doing <laughs> the scouting for my team around here. All right. 23-18. Oh, yeah. Two big wins. That is massive. Let's go, Hammerheads. Big win over the Jets there as well. Continue. Red Wings, we get a shootout win. Good stuff. We got a W over the Avalanche. All right. We are definitely... Looking like we have the potential to be a playoff team, which I'm super in for. I really hope that we can make that work in our first year our inaugural season in the NHL. The Houston Hammerheads might be able to pull it off. So I'm actually going to stop the simulation there because there is one other thing I wanted to do that I forgot about. Uh, Brian Russ leading the team now with 46. We are 32, 25 and 4. We'll have one more game that I will simulate before the trade deadline. However, I wanted to go to contracts and while they still want to sign Dubois, I'm going to offer you an extension. We'll offer you 5.7 for five years. Hopefully you say yes to that. Brian Rust. Uh, oh, that's a big jump. But you know what? Oh, he, no, no. I'm going to wait till the offseason now for him, as a matter of fact. Athena CU. That's all right. Ethan Bear. I definitely want to bring Bear back. But $4 million. Um... He is only 24 and he's 82 overall, but you know what? Actually, maybe we'll wait for the offseason. Dubois is someone I know for a fact I want to bring back. I also want to bring back Hag if he's reasonable. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'll give you 2.5 for three years, sure. There you go. Uh, Rosovic, I would like to bring him back as well if he's reasonable. That seems a bit extreme, but we can definitely consider it. Sanford, um, he pretty much wants the same. I think he would sign even in the offseason. We don't have to worry about that. And Jumbo, we don't really need to worry about. So, what about uh, goalies? Are we good for goalies? Yeah, they are fine. And let's go in the system. Ooh, okay. They are both running out this year. So, let's offer an extension to DiPietro. Yeah, we'll take it one year at a time with you, I suppose. Let's see how that goes. And then, Scott, let's have a look here. And he is wanting a two-way deal. Um, one year. You know what? What if I offered you... <laughs> do you think we could try to get an insane contract here? Because even if we do sign him to this and it ends up not panning out at like 77 overall, it's $1 million and we could probably trade him for like a seventh or something if we really had to. I'm going to make a ballsy choice here. and I'm going to try signing him for 1.2, six years. We're in it for the long haul, Scott. So please, please, please develop. I hope that contract doesn't end up Affecting his overall. But let's advance a day and see if anyone gets back. Nope. Advance another one. We got Dubois. Good stuff. We got Hag. We got DiPietro. And we got Scott for the long haul. All right. Very nice. We got the Golden Knights who are doing very well and advance that day. A big 4 to 3 win. We are 33, 25, and 4. And 4, 4, and 2 in our last 10. Okay. Brian Russ, 47 points, currently leading the team. And we are on the verge of a playoff spot there. Yeah, we are currently holding a wild card in the Pacific. Fourth. 
with 70 points. The Oilers are absolutely killing it this year. 95 points so far. They are dominating. And let's just check out the entire league real quick. Yeah, the Oilers obviously in first because that is absurd. Where are the Hammerheads here? Oh, we are actually 12th in the league. So we are in the upper half of the league right now. That is very nice. I do enjoy that. Brian Russ up to 85 overall. Oh my word. Good for you though. I'm happy for you. That's good stuff. Robert Thomas, 84. Dubois, 85. All right, I guess... Yeah, everyone seems to be doing all right, so we don't have anyone to be concerned about. Yeah, great, great. If we check out the goalies, how are they still doing? Hopefully. Oh my word, he fell real bad. Vladar's insane, though. 946, 152, with a 10-1-0 record and a shutout. And then Mrazic, 23-24-4. and four. Guys, should we try to find a new goalie at the deadline? Is that is that what we should do? A new starter because Mrazic is just not getting it done. Wow, that comment was right. I take back calling you a potential troll because <laughs> you did see something. You looked past the save percentage and stuff and you saw the record. So good eye. Yeah, maybe we should pick up a different goalie at the deadline. That's something we could certainly consider. Considering Mrazic is letting us down right now. Um, but anyway, let's actually go to the AHL real quick. 39, 19, and 4. They're doing well. Hegel with 56 points. Atta boy. Love that. The team is not first in the division. They are second right now. The Marlies are ahead of them, but they're still having a great year. Still having a great year so far. Definitely. Wonderful. If we go to the player stats, Hegel's up to an 80 overall now. Boss has 39 points and is up to 75. So he is growing quick. I love that. That is good stuff. Do they still have that like growth chart somewhere where it shows you like how much they are up on the year sort of thing? Or is that non-existent anymore? Anyway, let's check out the goalies quick in the AHL. Uh, oh, Di Pietro. What's going on? 899, 244. But his record's okay. Ian Scott, 971 with a 903, 250, 74 overall. And Di Pietro's at 79. Come on, you got to do better than that. Oh, well. They will pull it together. I believe. I believe in them. Let's think. What else do we have to check here? There's one thing I just mentioned I want to check. And now I can Oh, the uh, player growth. Player development. Is that still a thing? Upgrade your team. Okay, there's an injury report. Morale. Progress reports. There it is. That's got to be the one. We have Klingberg. Still at 86. Shouldn't it be... Is it green and red? Or does it not really show? Oh. Four modifications for Jumbo Joe. But... For the most part, not seen a whole lot in the NHL. Okay, well, how do we go to in the system? There we go. Uh, Di Pietro has 10 in the green. So, yeah, he's definitely going up. Malgan's going up. That's good. And where's Boss? There he is. 11 in the green. We got Forbes with 15 in the green. Who is this guy? Oh, all right. Good. Good for him. Oh, yeah. Things you love to see right there. Poor Kulikov, he is just not having a year. But yeah, that's that's nice. I love that for us. So guys, please weigh in. What should we do at the trade deadline? Should we try to get a new starting goaltender? Should we try to pick up a stud if one's available? An offensive stud to put on the first line? Or should we rely on the team that has got us this far up to this point? And just, yeah, really hope they can keep it up at the post-trade deadline, which you never really know. The post-trade deadline is always madness. It could either be madness in a good way or madness in a bad way. But as of right now, Mrazic is just simply not getting it done. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Go ahead, let me know. If there's any other roster moves or lines you think I should edit, let me know. And I will definitely take them into consideration for the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon.